Hey everyone, um, I'll be here. I'll be showing how to make nice 3D skyboxes for Portal 2. Well, as you can see here, I have a level I'm currently working on, and it has skybox on the floor, on the walls, on other sides of the walls, and that's all really cool. Um, but we want to make it look a bit better than it does right now, and in order to do that, we're going to use skyboxes. Well, if we want to make a nice 3D skybox, the first thing you want to do um, is you want to hide everything. And then... Oh, my mouse is being a bit annoying. And then you only want to select world geometry. So in this case, we, we are only left with the world geometry. And we will use this um, to nicely um, to nicely align everything um, in the map again. We use this as a reference and um, what we're gonna do next is once we selected this uh, uh, all this we're going to the origin of the map over here and we are so mean that's where the blue lines cross and we make an entity here, and it's a sky underscore sky camera. There we go. And we hit apply. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to select everything, including the sky camera. And we click right, right mouse button and we copy. And then we paste special again. And we want to place it far away. However, like this is at the moment, 5000 units is a bad idea. Why is this a bad idea? Because it's not a power of 2. Um, what you will get is that stuff will get off grid. So it's a good idea to offset this in nice powers of 2. Or maybe you could add a tiny bit, but. As you can see here now, uh, the uh, we have a copy of our level, and this sky camera here um, is on. It should be nicely on this red line, and unfortunately, it is not because I made a small mistake. That's not a real big problem. What's important is that it should be completely on this red line. And um, you see that I have my, uh, my grid size on 1. That's in this case a good idea because um, it's very, very important to have that sky camera exactly um, on red crossings. Yeah, this is the sky camera and now it's nicely aligned here nicely on the red lines. This is important because now we will scale everything down and it's very easy for stuff to get completely off grid once you scale everything down and that's absolutely not what you want and you will see now that everything here is still nicely... Fuck. No, it's not nicely aligned because I messed up the sky camera. It should be nicely aligned but it isn't. So I made a mistake and we completely delete this again and we go back to the sky camera that's over here and check if that one is in fact completely nicely on the origin, which it should be. And one of the nice things about the origin is that it will, yeah, you see that it's slightly off grid, that's very very bad. It needs to be dead center on the origin. That's vital. And now it's properly on uh, properly on a on the origin. We can go back to normal grid size. 32 or something. Select everything again. Copy. Paste special. There we go. Now we have our copy of the level and once again we check to make sure that this new sky camera is perfectly aligned on the grid. 
So over here it's nicely on two red lines, that's great. And let's check the third dimension. Also over here it's perfect. So that's cool. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to transform it. And with the transform tool we will scale it down. Because the default scale is 1 to 16, and we're going to stick with that, we have to divide 1 by 16, and we get 0 0.065. So that's what we're going to scale it with. But before we do that, it's important um, to go uncheck texture log and check uh, the texture scaling. That's very important because um, this will make sure that every texture in here is also scaled down with the same amount as we scale down the entire uh, map. And that's very useful for reference geometry again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to transform it. We have the textural uh, scaling tool, that's cool. And then we type in 0 0.065, 0 0.065, 0 0.65. And now we have our tiny, tiny, tiny box here. This is our reference geometry. And what I like to do here, um, you, can, you can see here that it's slightly not nicely on grid. Well, it's, it is still on a grid, probably on a size 2 grid. It should be on a size 2 grid. Nope. And it's not even on a size 1 grid. Now we have everything still selected. We can realign this. And now you will see that it is on a size 2 grid. That's cool. That's what we want. But you can only do this when you have everything selected. And I like uh, to select everything but the sky camera at this moment. So everything but the sky camera should be selected, but for some reason. Yeah, there we go. And we make this a separate disk group. And we call this um, Skybox Reference. Now, we go back to Users and we check Skybox Reference again. So, we got it back. And now we can also delete the Skybox textures here. Because um, you won't be seeing them. And this is our uh, reference geometry, but as you can see, we now have geometry outside the map. That's not good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to browse for no draw. Make a big box around it. Make it a proper grid size again. And it might seem like a good idea to make a very big box around it, but that's not the case. You don't want um, it too big, just it fits in, it fits in. Gee, my mouse is really fiddly today. And the height should probably adjust that slightly. And so we're going to make tools make hollow minus 32. So now we have neutral. A big neutral box. Well, actually, a rather small neutral box. And we're going to texture the interior uh, with Skybox. And for that, we use tools slash tool Skybox. And we apply this to all interior faces. And notice here that we don't use scaled down textures here because we don't need to because um, it's just the 2D skybox is projected inside the 3D skybox. So now that we have everything here as a reference geometry, we can start building new stuff. Um, because everything is scaled down, in the skybox it's not unusual to have a size 2 grid.
Now we can make all kinds of new brushes. It's important that you don't accidentally um, have it in the same vis group because you don't want it to be in the same vis group because you want to hide your reference geometry because the reference your geometry is only a reference and you don't want the skybox to project the reference sky over the actual sky uh, act the actual contents of your level because that gets really really messy so yeah you can just make everything you want inside your nice little 3D skybox and it's important here, now I made this little brush here that you can just use the same texture scale as your reference geometry and that's really useful now it misaligned and now we realigned it again so that's how you make a 3D skybox now if you want, say, um, over here, you just want to view the 2D skybox and nothing fancy, well that's not a problem, because you can either just make the box so that it nicely aligns, or you can make a nice little um, brush here that just has skybox. And yeah, so you can mess around, um, and once you're satisfied with um, what you made, um, Let's, you can also put in props in your skybox, but they're also skilled up, so um, it's important to keep that in mind. So you can search for skybox uh, models. There's not much. Um, Zivi posted on Thinker with Portals a bunch of these models. We use them um, for Aperture Valentine as well. Um, and they are ex uh, they are nicely made so they do fit in the skybox so they're ridiculously small you can see that this one is 32 units by 6 units but you can use it nicely here to put stuff in your skybox and I would recommend um, not to put it Higher. Um, let's rotate this around again. Yeah, I would recommend just really placing it inside the skybox, not um, higher than the actual level. So um, don't put it like over here where it's still the same height as. Um, as the actual level because that looks very strange and might cause some problems and yeah you can just like if you want this one you can just extend this and make a nice network of pipes or whatever you want you can just edit this in your skybox and this is much easier uh, much easier for your computer to render so yeah that's about everything I got to say about 3D skyboxes um, if you have any more questions, feel free to, to ask. Um, yeah, there, there are a few default skybox things. I think this is the only one in Portal 2, the only uh, model in Portal 2 that has a default, yeah. Is one of the default models, and I can actually show you what it looks like um, in game when you just put this randomly in here. Well, this will it will believe me when it that it will look horrible, and it's just a very bad idea to put stuff actual actually in your level just. Keep skybox stuff in your skybox. You can. It's it's no problem to like um, put it put this crane over here where it's just nice decoration. That's not a problem because this is not your actual level. You can't actually walk into it. But don't put it in your actual level. If you want to put stuff in your actual level, put 
actual stuff there. Don't use the skybox for that. Only use the skybox for um, stuff that's outside of your map. And once you're happy with how your map looks and your reference geometry, you can uncheck the skybox reference and you, you will only keep this. It's not much. But this will be your skybox reference and um, you have your sky camera still in this box and it's nicely aligned with the origin and what we didn't do yet is uh, we go back over here and delete this sky camera that's important because you don't want this actual sky camera to be still here we only use that so we could nicely align stuff over here and um, if you're using fog um, Keep in mind, the sky camera itself also has fog, so make sure to use the same colors here and use fog end and fog start, the same as your normal um, fog controller, but once again on the 116 scale. So if, um, say, your fog starts at 500, your sky camera should start at 31.25. And if it ends at 2000, it should stop at 125. And in that case, you have a smooth transition between your skybox and um, the world. And yeah, that's about everything I've got to say about it. I hope it's useful and it helps you, and good luck. <laughs>